barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. June 29th is going down. It's going down in Houston, Texas. 100 Black Men Strong. It's going to be a great event. We're serving the community of Houston. Free haircuts, free food, mommy makeovers, free tickets. Hopefully, we have some fighters show up. I've been spreading the word around boxing, so we'll see how, how it goes. Moving forward. Shout out to the Boxing Voice. Uh, I just watched the interview with Bo Mack. And uh, first of all, I want to say something about the uh, the video about uh, uh, Boxing Ego and the Boxing Voice. I was actually, I titled it perfectly that way. One, I know it's going to get hits because, you know, we all in the same com boxing community. But I was trying to get them exposure. And and I'll say this. Hopefully, they, they got. I don't know if they got it or didn't get it. But uh, I don't want people to think that I was like trying to exploit the boxing voice or nothing like that. Second of all, for those of you who don't know, I made eye contact with the boxing voice media dude and didn't say anything. He was literally right next to Earl doing the interview, man. So so uh so I said all that to say uh if it ever happens to me, Terrence Crawford's gonna curse me out when he sees me. Everybody record that shit and post it. Finally barbershop conversation gets exposed for hating on Terrence Crawford. Post it. It doesn't make me mad at all. I'm winning in real life. Dog, when you winning in real life, not on this Instagram and YouTube shit, when you can, every door you want to lock is worth over a million dollars and you happy and your family's happy. My son, I, I, I'm talking to my haters now, so don't, it, it, it's just a beautiful thing, man. And, and it's, I'm in a great space right now and I fucking love it. Moving forward. Bo Mack uh, finally agrees with me. A year and some days to the day. June, I, I started this campaign about a year ago when uh, it was, he fought on the same day as Leo Santa Cruz, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, uh, Jeff Horn, June 9th, I believe it was, right? Finally, they coming along. You don't think they watch my videos? I'm going to prove to you that he watches my videos. I'm the only one that did a video on uh, everyone responded to it, maybe in a tweet, maybe in an Instagram post that said, Bo Max said that he streamed the Earl Spence fight. I'm the only one to do a video on that and title it as such. I'm telling y'all niggas, man, they watching everything that I do. And it's okay. You don't never have to admit it. Don't have to give me credit. You don't have to, you don't have to give the brother credit, Bo Max. <laughs> but, but the point of this video is, is, uh, um, they understand, they're understanding the realities of what's going on. The question was, do you understand, do you see how Tyson Fury is getting all this credit? And Bo Mack wanted to say what he wanted to say, but he says, I have to be cautious in what I say. You see it, I see it, the world see it, and it's only going to make it better when we go to renegotiate, which the contract is up at the end of the year. I got about 400 videos in my head that I want to do as it pertains to Earl Spence, Sean Porter, and now this Terrence Crawford stuff and moving forward. Um... Uh, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's just a wonderful thing now too, that the contract is up. You, you're going to find out if Terrence Crawford want to swim in the kiddie pool or, or the big wave pool. That's what we're going to find out because his contract will be up next year, according to Bo Mack. And if he's any type, if he has any level of intelligence, I, I, I'm challenging him. Yes, I'm challenging him. I'm not calling him stupid. I don't know to what degree, um, um, how bad do they want their legacy? Terrence Crawford has a baby legacy. Uh, um, we're always going to say what could have, should have been. He never fought the big time guys. Uh, when he retires, he's going to be a forgotten man if he's not in a fight. I mean, if he's not going to watch a fight when he retires, when he walks down any street outside of Omaha, Nebraska, he will not be recognized for the most part. You understand what I'm saying? Um and at the end of the day, he should be a $20 million fighter, 15 to $20 million fighter every time he fights an A-level fighter. That's all I'm saying. And and Bob Arum has held him back. Bo Mack agrees in his little way. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you, they don't give a damn about Terrence Crawford because Terrence Crawford, you need to listen to what I'm saying. If they don't offer Kell Brook the $5 million to fight you, how you think you're going to get money from ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports owned by Disney, multi-billion dollar company who just bought Marvel, if I'm not mistaken, right? How are you going to get your money, dog? You're not getting it. 
You're going to be sand in the kiddie pool, swimming and swimming and swimming. Now, uh, every man has to make this decision. Every drug dealer has to make this decision. Every college kid, when uh, he graduates from college, got to make the same decisions. Um, uh, or if you're at a job, do you do you get your promotion? Do you fight for your promotion or, or do you be content making your hourly wage or your sal your annual salary? You understand? You got to make decisions in life and you got to make decisions. You got to take the leap of faith. You got to be vulnerable. Terrence Crawford, I, I, I bet you're awfully comfortable. I have no idea. But your contract is up next year. Everybody knows it now. Everybody saw the Tyson Fury fiasco. Everybody saw the circus. Terrence Crawford is a unified, undisputed, undefeated pound for pound champion at 140 and a world champion at 147 and yet they're promoting Tyson Fury as a as a world champion he has no belts top rank is is, is running a Nina Pinta S Santa Maria type of ship and Terrence Crawford is is that is that dude that say I, I got one black friend that's who Terrence Crawford is over at ESPN I don't know how much money he's making. It's been widely said he makes three and a half million dollars a fight. Terrence Crawford, you make three and a half million dollars a fight. That's a great number. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and say that's not a great. If I had a three point five four million dollar uh, hookup where I can do it three times a year, shit, you think I wouldn't? You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I just uh, think that uh, Terrence, you're not in a conundrum. But you better make the wise business move. That's all I'm going to say. If you don't, it's on you, man. So, um, um, I, it, it's not even the sense where we're, we're, we're rooting for you. you got, now you got to make the move, dog. You got to make the move. Like, it, it's, it's, it's on Terrence Crawford. And, and if I'm Al Heyman and I know he's at the end of his deal, you're not fighting Earl Spence until you make that decision. I will not give you the Earl Spence fight, or I will advise I will advise Earl Spence not to take that fight until he makes a decision on who he wants to work with. People say it's more money over at ESPN. Listen to me. You guys are just thinking linear. It's not more money at ESPN. ESPN gets no promotion. ESPN is is a can't do pay-per-views. ESPN, I'm talking about they can, but it's not popular. Uh, ESPN Fights is not an event. People don't go to ESPN Fights. It is not more money over there. I'm trying to explain it to you. I'm trying to explain it to you. It's not more money over there, okay? And I need you guys to fully grasp and understand it. You will be well, you will be better compensated long-term with PBC. It's proven Sean Porter is a world champion, has a great job on Fox. All right? That's all I'm saying. If, if you want to take the one-time fee of that $3 million, $5 million and, and live off of that the rest of your life, you go right ahead. But I guarantee you, uh, if Lomachenko was a PBC fighter, black people would love him. Not love him, like per se, but he's just a cool kid. He's just a... He's a California implant that loves living. He ain't he ain't in on that racial tension, but because of how Bob Arum is uh, has racial undertones, um, he has to get the collateral damage. Same thing with all the fighters at the zone. You have to get the collateral damage from Eddie Hearn and the comments Barry Hearn made. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man. You do what you do, but it's a celebration today, y'all. It's a celebration. Bo Mac agrees with me, ESPN, on how ESPN is treating him. And he says the world sees it. Come on, man. I've been the only one beating this drum. Beating this drum. And I've used Terrence Crawford as the example for every other black fighter that is has the potential of going big time, medium time, small time. Work with people that want to work with you. Work with, with you that want to have a relationship with you. Terrence Crawford is the one black friend ESPN has. Terrence Crawford is the one black friend. You know, when that white dude goes on his equality speech, I got a black friend. I had a black best friend in high school. ESPN can say the same thing. We're not racist. 
We have Terrence Crawford. We promote Terrence Crawford. <laughs> oh, man. And a PR team is racist, headed by Evan Korn. Racial undertones. Tell them I said it. Tell them come see me. Ain't nobody afraid of nobody over here. And and here's the great thing about uh, about the realities of this. When you grow up urban, when you grow up black like I did, we don't, I know how people are going to receive this. I can't control their reactions, but I'm prepared for whatever they, for however they want to respond. Okay. I grew up playing dominoes. I grew up fighting in the backyard and disagreeing with people, man, being louder than me. And listen, white people say they going to sue. Black people go into the backyard. And I 100% understand that. I, I'm not saying that. I want to fight over everyone at ESPN, but I know the truth hurts. I know I've been right. All my videos, I am nine. I am in a 99 percentile when I'm talking about the business of boxing. I am in a 99 percentile. You know why? Because I've dealt with money. I'm not telling you guys this on things that I've heard. I've been in meetings with 10 white lawyers trying to convince me that I should be a part of their team. Did they offer me more money than I had in my bank account at the time? Absolutely. And to quote Floyd Mayweather, absolutely. But I know me better than I know them. I know my worth. And I'm telling y'all, making $30,000 a year on your own is better than making $50,000 with some, working for someone else. I'm telling y'all this. Making $60,000 a year on your own is better than making a hundred thousand dollars working for someone else. That's all I'm saying. Bet and believe on yourself, Terrence Crawford. Bet on your believe in yourself, boxing America of the world. Okay. Terrence Crawford's team is like right now. That nigga was real. That nigga got the balls to tell me that I was wrong and I end up being right. I'm right, dog. I've been right. I'm not wrong when it comes to the business of boxing and dealing with the racial undertones with this shit. I've gone through it. Not as many times as they has. I've, I've, it's only happened to me a handful of times. I'm not sitting and tell you that every month I'm going in a business meeting trying to make some money. I don't have to anymore. I don't have to go to Fox. I was offered to interview for a Fox job. Offered to go apply for an interview. Like, like hey, hey, Fred, do you want to do an interview for the Fox? I said, hell no, nah, I want to do that. I'm good. I don't want to work for ESPN. I don't want to work for Fox. They can hire me as a contractor. I don't want to be contracted by them. If they want to hire me to do a special on this and that, and it's, and it's I say, I'll do that. But I'm not signing a two or three, four year deal. Why would I do that? It's easier collecting rent. <laughs> I just did the hard work. I done been homeless in a 1992 Previa already. I done been homeless. I done slept in the back of cars already. I done did the hard work already. This is easy, man. I'm eating caramel cake every day with 78 Sports TV. Nigga, like, fuck you talking about? I'm, I'm living my best life right now. And just to show how much I'm living my best life, June 29th, it's going down in Houston, Texas. 100 black men strong. I fucking love y'all. Like, to, to the core of me, you don't understand how important this is to me. I want to use boxing to reach the masses. All right. That is my ultimate goal. I like, like I said, I don't desire to hang out with these fighters. I don't desire to. I want them to see the God in all of us. I want Earl Spence to see the God in him. I want Sean Porter to see the God in him. I want Terrence Crawford to see the God in him. I want me to see the God. And I want every fucking subscriber that's ever seen a video or unsubscribed to see the God in themselves. That's that, that's all I that's my mission statement. And now that I have this platform, guess what I'm going to do? Motherfucking use it to the apex of how I can use it. And, and, and that's just what I believe. Like it, love it, or hate it, that's what I believe. And I'm going to stick to it. All right? So anyways, man, um, have a great Tuesday it is. I leave Thursday night. I get in first thing Friday morning. We running and jumping. I'm picking up the car, and first place I'm going is Costco. Going to Costco, get everything I need. What time Costco? Hopefully open up at 9 o'clock over there. I can do all that shit. Then I'm going to the weigh-in. Then I'm going to the barbershop. We're going to set everything up. It's all about y'all on this trip. It's not about me. 
LD, LD and all my brothers in LDBC say the same thing. It's not about us. It's not about me, 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 me. It's about us. And that's what I believe in. That's what I love, and that's what I'm going to stick to. Terrence Crawford, you're going to say I'm hating on you, Team Crawford. Stop sending me those fake emails and those fake uh, adding me on silent on uh, on Instagram telling me that I'm wrong, I'm disrespectful. I'm not wrong. Bo Mack has just proved me right on the boxing voice. Go watch the interview with him and Bo Mack. Hey, the boxing voice, cut that, cut that video up and make it an, an isolated video. It'll do better on its own. And if you title it correctly, it, it, it's, it's going to... Send shock waves through the sport of boxing. All right, and um, I think it's a beautiful thing. I'm off and running. I'm about to go take my take my son to school. Come back and do more videos because this is a great day for me. I've been pr proven correctly. Not proven. I've known I've been correct for quite some time, but now I know I'm I'm super duper right. So, anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, have a great day. I love y'all. Terrence Crawford, I've been right all along. I've finally proven right. If you re-sign with top rank after they've treated, you can't even find a fucking opponent. How are you going to sign with top rank and you don't even have a fucking opponent? You gotta, we got to put the pressure on, on him now. We got to put the pressure on him starting today. Because Bo Mack, saying what, Bo Mack finally saying what he's saying knows that they know what the fuck is going on. And we're just going to sit back and see and let it play out. I, um... I'm moving on. June 29th, Houston, Texas. Jamal Charlo. Hopefully, Team Crawford will be there. It's right down the street from them. You know what I mean? Come get some of that free press. You know what I mean? They ain't gone. But anyways, barbershop conversation. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, talk to you guys soon. Peace.